my name is Shaira and I'm a photographer based in Manila, Philippines. Most of the things you're gonna see on this channel are secondhand or vintage or found. I just have a lot of treasures that I love sharing. If you're into these sorts of things, I hope you stay and subscribe. A couple of videos ago, I recreated looks that you guys sent to me or that you guys uploaded on Instagram. It was called SL Wardrobe Mother's Day and there I tried to recreate your mom or your mother figure's outfits with the clothes already in my closet and I was so so happy at the way that video turned out. I thought that I could do something quite similar except that this time I'm not recreating any looks. I'm actually going to be wearing my clothes from childhood and also throwing in a couple of items that weren't mine necessarily but that I grew up with. So things that my mom wore or that my grandma wore. We donated boxes of her clothes during the beginning of the year so I really don't have any more of my childhood clothes or the clothes I wore in high school or in college. But I did manage to keep a few that I thought were sentimental or memorable or just something that I thought I would still be able to wear. So those are the pieces that I'm going to be sharing with you today. I think this will be a fun exercise to do, especially for those who live in their family homes and have access to their old clothes. If you don't have any of your old clothes, you can ask the people in your household if they have any of their old clothes and you can try styling them with whatever things you have in your closet. I found it easy to rewear a lot of these clothes. Granted, most of their are tiny on me but I still found ways to make them work. I think one of the oldest garments I have here was a dress that I wore when I was two years old. But I'm going to show you a picture of me wearing that dress so you can kind of see why that dress still fits me today. Uh, yeah, that's an epic photograph um, and you can be sure that it's not displayed in the house. And it just started raining really hard outside, so I'm just going to try to make my voice a little louder. Uh, I hope you don't get too distracted by the sound of the rain. I'm very close to a roof, so that's why the sound is amplified. But and I just want to show you a few pieces that I wear regularly. While I was going through our photo albums, uh, we have piles and piles of albums, so I have good references. I saw that this jacket was actually worn by my brother when he was small and it was like really oversized on him. Um, he was so so cute um, back then. Oh, he's a little cute now, but he was so cute back then. I don't think any week has gone by that I haven't worn this jacket, except of course for this quarantine period, but I always wear this jacket. I throw it over everything. It has huge pockets inside. And also outside, I love how it's oversized and I love the denim. It's really stiff and it's that kind of faded but still true blue um, jean jacket that I really love. And then another jacket that I also considered a mystery jacket is this one because I had no idea where this came from. Um, but while I was going through the photos again, I saw that my mom was wearing it. So this is my outdoor shoot uniform or shoot jacket. Even if I have a lot of equipment or cameras on me, it's still quite easy to maneuver. The hardware is in great shape and that's really one thing I love about vintage garments. They're just constructed incredibly well. They're gonna last you years and years and years so I guess it's really important to choose or look at the quality of your clothes when you're buying. Not just vintage but also the things you can buy nowadays. It's always good to try and invest in things that are made to last. I have another jacket here that I don't actually wear as often but this is pretty special because it's a jacket that's made out of my dad's old jeans. So my dad lost so much weight um, over the last decade. He was a pretty big guy and he just shed all those pounds and when he lost that weight he didn't know what to do with all these jeans and they were just um, in his closet and didn't want to get rid of them because they were signature jeans or just jeans with good brands and also had good quality. One day I was talking to a fashion designer and she mentioned that she was looking for old or vintage denim that she could use. So I gave her all of my dad's jeans and I also took her to the Ukai Ukai near us because the jeans there were sold for 50 pesos or 100 pesos back then. And then she made this for me um, using my dad's old jeans. 
it's really cool how she made it kind of like a cape look or a bolero. It's not your conventional style of a denim jacket. And I find this to be quite dressy because the collar also opens up like that and it's a lighter color so I could wear this with more delicate things, maybe linen pants or silk pants or also um, like wash denim and heels. I also like these sleeves, they're slightly flared so it has a lot going on. It's really a statement piece and I'm just really happy that she was able to do something with my dad's old clothes. Another piece I find myself wearing, not really often but I wear it enough, is this dress. Out and about, I have to wear this with pants because it's very short on me. Right now, it works as a dress because I'm just sitting down. So it, it's a cute empire cut baby doll dress. Although when I wore this years and years and years ago, it was a standard dress. It fell, I think, below my knee. And then I wore this with white tights and I think a ribbon. I'm not sure, but I think I wore this to one of my recitals, either a drum recital or a piano recital. But this dress is really lovely. It has these pleats on the wrist. Well, this used to be um, on the wrist, but obviously it's very short now, but I think it still works. It has these swirled gold tone buttons, and I love that this dress has a lot of floral print. It's almost like a quilt or patchwork, and I tend to wear this with my maroon velvet pants or like a dark purple pair of pants. I could also wear this with um, denim bell bottoms and chunky platform sandals and a little get bag. I can think of a lot of ways to sell this dress. I quickly want to show you some of my most worn bags and these belong to my mom back in the 90s. They were deep, deep um, in the closet. They were in there I think from the year 2000 until yeah 2017 probably. They were just hidden in the closet wrapped in plastic. When I took them out they were in great condition and I figured that I should start wearing them because they were very lonely in, in the closet. So they're all Esprit bags. I mentioned in a couple of videos that my mom was a big fan of Esprit, so a lot of her childhood clothes were Esprit, a lot of her bags were Esprit, accessories from caps and shirts and just, she had a thing for Esprit. Um, so I have a lot of old things that are Esprit. So we have this bag. This is my most worn one. As you can see, it's quite I've painted this and I also documented the process so I'm gonna try to put that in a video somewhere and then I also used this one a lot. I have a lot of pictures of me wearing this bag. These two I don't wear so often. I think they have very specific outfits that they go with. If you're ready for a trip down memory lane, I'm not sure I am but Nevertheless, I am going to start showing you the clothes. They're not in any particular order. I just dump them on the couch and I'm just going to be pulling them up one by one and telling you a little bit about them. So I'm going to start with this denim skirt. This is a vintage... My clothes are now vintage. I'm just going to let that sink in. So this is a guess skirt. We had a lot of guest clothes as well because my mom loved going to the outlet store. I'm not sure where in LA it was and this fits me exactly. Like any smaller I would probably burst but I'm glad this still fits me and it now falls above my knees and I would wear this with a crop tee and sneakers maybe or chunky platform sandals. Here are my pajamas from I think first year high school or grade six maybe. I had sleepovers. My friends would just come to the house and we'd watch laser discs and we'd have ice cream and water fights. So I remember wearing this during one of those sleepovers. It's a nice silk material. This is Liz Claiborne and it's really funny because when I go to Uka Ukais and I look at the sleepwear section, I tend to grab things that look just like these and they're vintage already. So I'm really gonna hang on to this. The cutest overalls. So these belong to my brother. They're also guests. I styled this with a white top. It's really really casual. I can wear this with sneakers or sandals. My brother wore this a lot when he was small so there are a lot of photos that I can share. This dress is very similar to what I have on right now. I can't recall where my mom bought my dresses but I have a couple of these and the others I think we gave away so I just have these two left. 
this used to have a lacy collar but I cut it off because it was stained. It has really nice milky buttons. I would definitely wear this with kitten heels. I could also accent it with a belt and a nice little purse. It's dainty and soft and feminine and it has that 90s grunge feel. I could wear this with my Doc Martens that would make it look legit 1990s, although I didn't own a pair of Doc Martens back in the 90s, but that would be great paired with this dress. I recall having another orange striped dress. I just can't put my finger on it, but I'm pretty sure I had another one in a smaller size. I don't recall my footwear so much, but now I can wear this with my clogs or I could also wear it with sneakers or chucks. It's faded a little bit, but definitely still wearable. This is a very, very 90s looking skirt. It came with a vest and the brand is an SM brand called Tweeners. I used to wear this with a white shirt and a yellow headband. I wish I knew where the vest was. It would have been nice to wear it as a set. I think we donated it. I don't know who wore this first, my grandma or my mom. It's a pleather top or more like a vest with a sweetheart neckline and high waist pants. I think it was my mom's. I can't imagine my grandma going to a store and trying this on. She's fashionable, but I just can't picture her as the one buying this. But I do have a picture of my grandma wearing it. She had a lime green top and sandals. I tried them on and they fit really nicely. The PU material seems to be of really high quality. You know how you get polyurethane bags and they just flake really easily after a couple of weeks or months? Well, these are 20 something years old. There's no sign of peeling or flaking. It's just in really good condition. It's also lined inside, so it's a bit warm to wear here in Manila. I could take this abroad with me to colder weather when the time comes. A t-shirt from my childhood that maybe some of you who are a little older will be able to relate to. This is a t-shirt from 1995. When I was young, I was in an ad. I know that's not a big deal now, but back then there were very few channels to watch and our ad kind of kept showing. So some of you guys may remember this. We were given lots of memorabilia and stuff, but this is the one we kept. I don't wear this, but I keep it. I just think it's a nice souvenir from those times. This dress is the dress. I wore this for a magazine shoot when I was around two or three. I can't recall my exact age. I was like a little ball with pigtails. I think I also had ribbons, but that's such an iconic shoot for me. It's, it's an image that has burned itself into my head. Back then, I really hated it. Like I didn't want to see the photo, but now that I'm older, I don't find it as embarrassing. No matter how embarrassing it looks, I can now find uh, the humor in it a little bit. And this is the dress I wore for that shoot. Again, it's free kids in a size small. It's this white and red stripe with this micro floral pattern down here. It's a drop waist. I can still wear this now. It still fits. The sleeves are, of course, three fourths now. And the skirt is a passable length. It's more of a tunic length on me. So what I did was to tuck this into a pair of overalls. It's a fun look. I went to a school called Alexandria Avenue Elementary School and we all had these shirts. It still fits me well. It fits great. It's a nice vintage fit. This is Fruit of the Loom in a size small. I really like the print on it and I like the color as well. I can wear this with shorts, with jeans. I wore it with tan or light brown corduroy pants and a matching belt. And then also white sneakers to make it more like school appropriate. And then I also threw on a leather sling bag. I love this look. It's something I really would wear. Here's another aw t-shirt. It's a t-shirt of my brother. Look how cute he 
because when he was little, he was super, super pale, but his hair was a rather golden brown shade and it was a little bit curly. He got a t-shirt. I don't think I have a t-shirt. I have the promo one, but it's nothing like this. I think this is a very special t-shirt. It's a baby tee. It's literally a baby tee. It fits very snug and it's great to tuck into high-waisted jeans. It's an adorable tee. I'm gonna keep this forever. Someday I might also frame it, but I still want to wear it. So for now, it's gonna live in my closet. When I was in Sydney a couple of months ago, I went to a thrift shop and then I found a t-shirt that had a very similar cut to this and it had that vintage feel so I assumed it was from the 90s and then when I was digging through my clothes I saw this and realized oh that's why I know it's from the 90s it really felt like this and it also has the same kind of cut and silhouette again an esprit top this is a baby pink almost violet and then it has black and white polka dots this was i'm guessing when i was in the third grade or second grade i would wear this now with high waist light wash denim i feel like that's an early 90s look with sneakers and maybe if i had a pink scrunchie that would have been perfect i would 100 percent wear this outfit Come to think of it, I don't think the red striped dress was my most iconic dress. I was in a couple of newspapers wearing this, so this is another dress that I will keep forever. I think it's such a great reminder of my past life. This also fits me, I think. If I really wanted to wear it now, I would cut a slit on the sleeves just so that I can move my arms better. But everywhere else fits perfectly fine, even the neck fits me well. It's a blouse length so I could wear this with blue corduroy pants or white pants or black pants. I can also hide the collar just so that it won't look too preschool. This is a fun dress also to look at anyway. It's heavy material. I like the colors too. If you recall me mentioning a while ago that we had a lot of guest outfits aside from the Esprit ones, I had one more dress that was a more square cut neckline and it had white pinstripes and I kept this. I think I sold that one on eBay back in 2010 along with another Levi's bomber jacket. I kind of regret doing that. It would have been nice to keep both of them, but at least I have one. And this is that thick, rough denim. It's a nice shape. At this point, it's already a skater dress on me. It's a or more like a fit and flare. So I would wear this with black tights and black knee-high boots. I would also wear a black turtleneck and maybe geometric or white and black earrings to make it look quite mod. I fancy this as a 1960s inspired look, very Heather Graham in Austin Powers. Last we have this top. Now this was a part of a costume. So our school, like many other schools, had international day activities. So each grade level or section would be assigned a different country. And my mom would go all out. She'd sketch all my costumes and have them made. We would also borrow headdresses and other props. So she really loved the whole costuming part. So that's most likely where I got my love for creating outfits and trying to match themes. Yeah, it, it came from there. I really can't recall which country I wore this for, but now, currently, 2020, I can wear this with trousers, high-waist trousers or paper bag trousers. It has a very Pinterest look to it, or if you style it that way. It's a nice material. I'm not sure what material it's made of. Of course, it doesn't have a tag because this was custom made. And I like the ruffles on the sleeves as well as the ruffles on the neckline. A very fun outfit that I can dress up a lot of ways. I hope you enjoyed that little throwback. It was so much fun looking through the photographs and trying to see if the clothes still fit me. If you can't go to the thrift shops yet or if you are bored or simply want to challenge yourself, this is great fun to do. I highly encourage you to try it out. Just think if you can look for other people's old clothes in the ukai ukai, how much more fun would it be to look through 
the old clothes in your house and re-wear them and restyle them, I'm sure you're gonna come up with an outfit or two. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, all the links to my social media accounts will be linked here and down below if you want to take a look at my photographs which are nostalgic and are always sort of trips down memory lane. You can go check those out. Stay safe everyone and we'll see you in my next video.